Hello guys, today I have brought an exciting accounting software within the Excel for you guys which you can use at your company, your shop or even in your daily expenditure or income recording purpose as well. Uh, it is very straightforward, user friendly and you can use the user forms to uh, record your entries as well and you can drive the ledgers, you can export them into the PDF uh and you can also see the trial balance in a real time i'm gonna give you a quick demonstration how you can use this program so let's start so first of all we have two kind of form to record the, our our general entries one is a double entry form and one is a multi-entry form the double entry form is very straightforward uh, at here on the top you are able to select what kind of transaction you are going to do basically it's a, it's a recording it's a justing entry or it's a closing entry so usually on during the year we do all our recording entries here you can select uh, which head of account you are going to use so let's say I'm going to use current assets uh, and here you can uh, t uh, select which uh, account you are going to debit if, if your account does not exist here you can simply type here let's say uh you say bank uh bank two and just press enter when you select it will ask you this account does not exist in the list do you want to create it you press yes now it's a past part of your list so now you can select the bank tool. Similarly, uh, you are going to select your credit account now. So let's say I'm going to select a current assets and I'm going to deposit my cash into the bank tool, let's say. So deposited cash into bank. You just type your description here. Simply, you can type the amount here. Let's say you type 60,000 here. Press yes. Okay. And the system has recorded the transaction in your data sheet right similarly you can add more entries here let's say now i want to create an asset fix asset so now let's say i'm going to create a building okay so it does not exist so press yes now building is a part of fix asset. so whenever you select current assets you will be seeing only current assets accounts but when you'll be selecting fixed assets you will be seeing a fixed asset accounts so now let's say you select building and here you going to purchase the building let's say through the bank and purchased building and let's say you purchase 400,000 right record and yes that's it you just recorded your transaction similarly you can also record multiple line transaction you can click on this form now you are able to choose your debit and credit accounts right uh, in a multiple lines you able, you will be able to select the date here let's say you are going to select 15th of august let's say you are going to record this transaction let's say you are going to purchase an inventory right you are going to purchase inventory for 90000 but you have paid 40000 for with the cash and you have given the check of 50,000 so you made sorry you just paid through the bank 50,000 so you made 40,000 with the cash 50,000 with the bank and totally you purchased 90,000 inventory so now you can just say purchased inventory with cash and check right you just describe this transaction click on record button and press yes and the transaction has been recorded in your data sheet now you can see that similarly now you can come here on the, your ledger and you can drive your ledger very easily simply just select click on this form and here you will be able to select your account whichever account you have created it's already there now so let's say i want to run my inventory uh, I'm going to start from the 1st August and I want my ledger from 1st till 31st get ledger and now you are able to run the ledgers accordingly if you want to export this data into the PDF just simply click on export PDF it will ask you where you want to save it just select your uh, destination and save it and you will be able to see your PDF here is your PDF is ready
uh, our ledger is also showing on the top the closing balance as well on the trial balance you can see the live balances of your accounts that we have a 70,000 in cash 25 250,000 inventory 320,000 in bank and 60,000 in bank too this is the equity this is john this is billing and the grand total is the nil debit and credit all are the nils so you can do everything using this program so if you want to download this please check on the description and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe now and share with others